means in the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. What? Hi everybody, my name is Mary, and on this channel, I watch movies and series that I've never seen before. Today, I will be watching Band of Brothers episode 8. The last episode was quite heavy on its own way. I feel like it really portrayed what it wanted to. Size was also a breaking point and I really feel like you could notice that that was what was going on like people being lost but also like seeing how far that was on the others who stayed behind and how how many like percentage wise they lost from their own close group of people I really love that scene where they showed everybody sitting in the in the church and then disappearing because it gives a face to all these men it's not just ah they lost so many people, yada yada. No, it's actually this person. And this person meant this to me. And he was a good friend to me. And bringing that feeling over to us must be really hard. Because we cannot imagine how it was. And I feel like the show does a great job at trying to do that. So I am having a lot of fun. I also hope that because I had some wins maybe like we might see that in the next episode see how that influences them because right now they've had a lot of really hardship behind them so maybe we shall see a little bit of more like how that moving further influences them but we shall see if you like these reactions make sure to like and subscribe and as always make sure to check out patreon if you want to see the full watch long style version of these reactions on patreon i also put polls up every week where you can vote on movies that you want me to react to Let's go! I want you to fall back now! Let's go! Where's the rest of the guys? This is everybody. Oh, come on, Sergeant Martin. This can't be everybody. What about, uh, Hoobler? Where's he? Oh, man, no. Don't, don't push this. Well, I'm sure he tried to bust out and help with some Bastogne weapons. I don't know how I would have done that. It's funny because Popeye found a way. Ah, oh, that's such a weird fiber because of course like you cannot do like help it, right? But you also get the others that they're like, well, you weren't with the, the most difficult fight. Have a seat, Webster. We'll get you situated. How long have you uh, been sick? Long enough. It doesn't look very well. I can't imagine like having to heal in these circumstances. What platoon are you in? Oh, we're about to find that out. You got any soap? I need a share. I'll send some down. You know what you're gonna do for this? <laughs> Every episode. When'd you graduate? June 6th, sir. June 6th? Of last year? D-Day, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, don't get hurt. <laughs> Request permission to go on the patrol. No. You don't have an experience for a second platoon. Yes, sir. You get that these men want to prove themselves in the beginning, but they might be like going a little bit too quickly. This is a uh, private Webster. Sir, I'm private Webster from first platoon. I just got back from the hospital and- Although he is a lieutenant. Is that it? I don't know, I think so. Go, go, go! Oh man. So you're without a platoon leader? Well, not anymore, lieutenant. Oh, you want to introduce me to the men? Well? Okay, I was like, he is so new and like they're laughing with him but like he's the most experienced and high ranked of all of these people so confusion sorry you want some coffee 15 15 what louis since d-day any more 60s out back oh there were some doggies from the 79th infantry but they left in a hurry what's the report on enemy activity expect some flares a few mortars at night Scattered 88, snipers during the day. Yeah, we dodged some mortars on our way in. They also got some sort of railroad gun back there. <laughs> Not impressed at all. Got some bad news. There is a patrol set for tonight. So far, Spears wants McClung. We know. Yeah, we've just fucking heard. Webster here told us. Guys, come on. Like, <laughs> that's not gonna be appreciated by the new Mr. Lieutenant. Looks like a bit angry. Let's move, clear it out! Now move, move! <laughs> <laughs> Showers, let's go. Come on. It's such a weird normal hide! Shower time. Just left them. I was on my way back. In war, soldiers sometimes die in the fever pitch of a firefighter by artillery. <laughs> Has it been a long time since your last shower, Professor? 
she's like honestly he's here now is he how long must it have been since they actually took a shower you still want to get your ods dirty of course i was just thinking i think it might have been the wrong Sergeant right really call to, to not do it and maybe if you offered you could go in his place maybe what's he doing experience the guys they picked up plenty of that What are you doing? You you just got here. Give the kid a Hershey bar, huh? <laughs> you gotta Look be delicious. shitting me. Oh, What's up, guys? Like we do at the place, George. Oh! We gotta roll across the fucking river tonight. Grab a few and ask him in person. Are you kidding me? Wish I was. Welcome back, Frank. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome back. It's a very big contrast She's towards the, the like, when they were in the worst, like, position and had to, like, work together so hard. And now, like, all those tensions are, like, building up and, like, who was there and who didn't want and who is more responsible and who should be doing and... Come on. You can't be leading. I'm not sure why they decided. No way. Not on this first day. Why, do you see any other officer here? The ranking versus experience thing is a very difficult balance, right? Secured four rubber boats to get you across the river. Lieutenant Jones here is the ranking officer, and he'll be along as an observer. Sergeant Martin here will lead the patrol in Sergeant Malarkey's place. The whole battalion will be covering your withdrawal. We've identified targets. We plan fire for him. Oh, he's best. Put a perimeter around the house. Once that's in place, get your rifle grenades in the first floor window. Get your assault team in quick. Okay, good. Understood. Remember, it's about prisoners. Don't pop the first thing that moves. Clear? Yes, sir. Good. Oh my god, I feel like the vibe is really gonna be... The whistle will be too quick and there will be no prisoners. Little Joan. Joan is as good as mine. It's not a concern of mine, Jackson. Oh man, the relationships are so bad. To go to such an important mission. You said 15 men, there's 16 of us. Fine, uh, hey, look that. You wanna sit this one out? Yes, sir. Martin, you wanna supervise buddy? the three squads? Thank you, sir. Or the two fives? Yeah, anyway, about Move them up. <sighs> My god, attention. I'm ready. Those crowds are gonna catch some hell. Sorry, here. I'm not personally going in. Martin, right? Martin and McClung. Supposed to stay in the rear and give them cover. How old is he? He looks so young. I'm at least already so glad for them that they're inside. The same mission could be met with disaster and result in nothing more than 15 Americans killed or wounded in action. Those of us who had seen combat before put that out of our minds. Those who hadn't probably thought of little else as we waited for darkness. I can also believe that after a while you don't think about I'm gonna die now anymore because it's so common and so overwhelming that after a while you just can't think about it anymore. It also shows how many different aspects there were, right? You have the... Okay, I don't know the word, but like when they're still like in the ditches, like walking and then in the forest and then uh, capturing towns, but now like having missions. Come on, stay focused. Not a good start. Stay still. Oh, this is so tense. Oh my God! The luck that you must have. All the people who survived, like, at one point, or maybe at 20 points, how close they were to death. My god, look at that! Oh my 
about to if you were getting a medic. Look at me, you're going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. Beruhigt euch, es ist doch nicht unsere Schuld. It's not our fault. Whoa, imagine. Oh man, the chaos. Eugene Jackson was 20 years old. He'd lied about his age when he joined the army at 16. In fact, Eugene lost his life on a stretcher in a dank basement in Hagenau, crying out in agony while his friends looked on helplessly. He was just one more casualty in a war that was supposed to be all but over. That's supposed to have never happened. Private Jackson took a grenade for aggression in the enemy OP. He died of his wounds, sir. Any others? No, sir. It's like... You need to be happy because in all it went well, but you still lost someone in such a... <sighs> I like that it takes the time to show it all, right? To show like the whole mission and the whole, not just like fragments. Jackson's dead. Yeah, we heard. Yeah, well, they want another patrol tonight. Oh, imagine if you know that somebody didn't came back and you need to do it again. What you looking at, Webster? Are you drunk, trooper? Drunk? Sick and tired of fucking patrols, taking orders. Hey, come. Shut up. I think it's time to uh, step outside for a minute. This thing's been on the phone all day bragging it up, but I think he's just showing off now. I don't know, Dick. I don't know what to tell you. He gave him a successful patrol, now he wants to. Successful. Oh, that's so... Uh. Y'all did a damn fine job on a tough mission last night. I wish you good luck tonight, because I'd be expecting more of the same. Have you briefed the men? Uh, just on our way, sir. All right. Uh, would they care? Would they not be like, I'd rather be alive than you'd be part of me? Any moment now, the outpost we hit last night will go up in flames. Martin? Yes, sir. It means we'd have to venture farther into town this time. Cam Spears, you have the map, please? Yeah. Sergeant Grant. There's like no discussion, right? It's like orders or orders. And you just, man, while well, you know that inside, they're just like, no, 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 no. We're setting off from the same place we did last night. We're not changing the plan any, sir. No. Plan's the same. Uh, okay. Are they not going to be looking out more now, the Germans, now that this has happened? I want you all to get a full night's sleep tonight. Which means in the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river. Into German lines. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. What? Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No way that he's gonna get away with this. There's way too many people that know. Or are they all like, that could be true that they are so grateful? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm so. Oh, this is gonna get back to him. Lieutenant Jones, regiment has seen fit to promote you to first lieutenant. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Well, look at him. And he's seeing everybody finding their space. So a second patrol never happened. Word was Captain Nixon wrote up a bogus report and regiment never got wise. Congratulations, Major. <laughs> right after the action. <laughs> Sinks is really happy with you. And he's finding his place as well. I wondered if people back home would ever know what it cost the soldiers to win this war. I don't think they did. How could anyone ever know of the price paid by soldiers in terror, agony, and bloodshed if they'd never been to places like Normandy, Bastogne, or Hagenau? Oh, man, like, <laughs> what I also like a lot about the show a lot is that because I'm European, like, it's nice to see this perspective as well because, it, like, 
we see a lot about what happened here and how it was for people here but it, sometimes you lose track of the fact that these men are actually really really far from home and what they did right for loads of us i like the fact this episode is that they this was clearly more about how the dynamic was between soldiers when you're new or inexperienced or if you've been away for a while and you come back like how those experiences get that group together but of course if you weren't there for all those experiences that you really need to prove yourself but after you did that then you get accepted so it's just it's interesting to see how that is and to see that dynamic especially with so many people who went through so much stuff right i can imagine that if you lose so many of your friends and then this new guy is like hi that you might a little bit like you know like you're not gonna come in here and walk in here and think you're you know like all those things then it's only two more episodes i've been loving this show but i'm also really happy for them that they're close and that they're starting to feel like they're close too is nice yeah i'm gonna say goodbye for now i'm gonna watch the other episodes later this week so i can like watch the last two together i hope you liked this reaction if you did make sure to like subscribe and full reactions watch long style you can find over on patreon thank you so much for joining me in this adventure because it's been what a show what a show it's so yeah impactful i'll see you in the next one have a lovely rest of your day